All right, first I want to say sorry about the beard. It's summertime, it gets warm. Uh, deployment's over. So you just gotta trim it up. And the wife kinda doesn't like it when I'm too manly. <laughs> anyway, so uh, we're out at the spot today. We're gonna do some uh, sampling for some gold. And this is a known site for meteorites also, so I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully we get lucky on this. And uh, so yeah, let me uh, grab my shovel and stuff and let's get out and start looking around. Alright, so here we are in beautiful Arizona. Uh, got my nifty shovel here. Right here. Yeah, it's uh, item number one. It's a big one. It's a big one you need. You always need a shovel. Alright, then we got my uh, my gold band here. Some gloves. Alright, bucket. And then I got a cheap little magnet from Ace here. It's what uh, it's what I use to uh, test for uh, hot rocks. A lot of a lot of meteorites are uh, magnetic, so uh, we'll be doing that. I'm gonna grab this and uh, hike down here, do some prospecting. But I don't do this to get rich. I don't do this for money. I do this because uh, look at the scenery. I mean, it's just you and lovely, lovely environment. Absolutely gorgeous out here. I'm going to turn my phone off and do some hiking. And uh, right on the path there, if you can see that, to that wash. And uh, find a good spot and uh, take a test pan. Alright, I just had to stop and uh, show you guys something here. A little hike so far. But uh, if you notice, like all the trees. Apparently uh, last year they had a huge Arizona fire. And all these trees are uh, burnt. Makes it kind of crazy looking in here. And then... Uh, it's a lovely, lovely day out, and this wash is just absolutely gorgeous. Look at look at all those rocks just tumbling together. Very large rocks right there. Big rock piles. Uh, I mean, in the monsoon season, apparently this year was massive here, so everything just flooded out. So hopefully we get good placer deposits. And uh, we'll walk up a little bit farther. Hopefully we can find a really good spot and uh, start the dig. Hey, yeah, uh, I think we found a great spot right here on this local claim. Looks like uh, people have been digging here. There's good telling piles right there. See this rock tailings? Bugs everywhere. Crazy amounts of bugs. I don't, I don't know if you guys can see them flying around, but uh, luckily they're not bumblebees. <laughs> but uh, maybe hard to see here. But you see this, see this layer? Really hard packed stuff. It's like false bedrock or a clay sheet, a clay layer. Fantastic for prospectors. It's good stuff, but uh, up here, now you can kind of see how uh, people have dug in. You can see all this, all this stuff tore down. And uh, in order to remove that much material, someone would have uh, had to have found something in there. So uh, I'm taking a test pan from here and uh, hopefully get lucky. All right, see that right there? It's a hole I started getting in a little bit. Um, the trick is though, you don't want to get too far. Because you get too far, come back up here. You can see this whole cliff line here. It'll all just fall over on you. You got big rocks up there. So I think I'm done digging there just so I don't get uh, crushed alive. <laughs> Keep it safety first. And then, uh, so I'm coming up here, the red Arizona cliche layer. I was telling you guys about. It's pretty thick, it's pretty hard. Mm, didn't come as prepared as I should have. Pickaxe would have been super nice, but see it's really red, really clay stuff here. Um, hopefully the gold can't get through that and uh, we'll get something out of there also. But uh, so far no meteorites, but uh, I have a good feeling about this spot. Real good feeling about it. All right, that should be good. All right. I was talking about that creasy layer, that clay. Just to show you like how hard this stuff is to dig through and why I should have had a pickaxe is uh, check this out. This stuff's tough. So you see how gold could possibly not travel through that. <laughs> so hopefully it trapped it. Scoop some of this up too. Throw that in my bucket and uh, go through that as well. Wait for the results. I'm a little excited, sorry. A little bit of work out here. <laughs> but uh, as I'm walking along the stream, I see some things and they uh, kind of get you a little excited, especially when you know what you're looking at here. 
and I'm walking along and I found this ball of quartz right here, just uh, just hanging out in the server bed. Right in that hole there, so I had to pull it out. I'll uh, try getting a good view with the light shining on it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, huge, lovely quartz crystals growing in here. Mm, let's see, can't really, wish I had a better camera, but a whole bunch of crystals of quartz forming. And uh, I think I'm gonna bring this back and uh, further examine this. Yeah, if you can't see it right there. It's a big piece of quartz crystal. If anything, it's a really nice lawn ornament. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, I mean, it's probably one of the coolest rocks I've seen out here. Right, here it is. Today's catch, right there. See me and my realist, me being realist sweaty, if you will. When you're by yourself, we can prospect you do what you gotta do, but uh, rocks are heavy, real heavy, real, real, really heavy. <laughs> Especially when you gotta carry them two miles. Anyways, so I'm loaded up, I'm go home, pan through that dirt, inspect this rock, and uh, whew, turn the video back on. Time some water. Alright, now it's panning time. Uh, you gotta pan through your dirt. Lovely dirt. Check. Dirt. Alright, then you get your gold pans. My uh, gold pans of choice are these Garrett pans. There's your little 8 inch pan and here's your big 14 inch pan. I like them because they got these ripples. Right there. They catch everything. I mean, it's really easy, especially for a beginner. So, you know, get their panning done. And what I do is I pan into this tub, fill the tub full of water, which it already is. Trick of the trade, dish soap. Dish soap. Dish soap helps break the, uh, just a little bit. Boom, that's enough. Dish soap helps break the surface tension of the water. So the really fine flower gold tends to float, especially if it has oil or something on it. And you just don't know what you're getting out of the ground out here, especially in populated areas. So a little bit of dish soap helps that out. And uh, yesterday when I went out, my awesome attempt at uh, prospecting, but the coolest thing I found is a small piece of jasper. That's it. But uh, I would do an instructional video on how to pan, but there's lots of them out there. It's very boring. Very, very boring. So uh, I'm going to get to panning. If I find anything, I'll turn on the, uh, the camera. I'll show you guys uh, where it's at. So I just thought I would stop here and uh, show you guys uh, my panning endeavors. Uh, so far it's looking pretty good, but I've not found any gold yet, but, uh, as you can see right along here, it's a whole bunch of black sand or magnetite, if you will, and then I found some very large magnetic rocks, uh, upon further inspection, maybe it's meteorite, doubtful, but, uh, you know, dry it off, clean it a little more, and, uh, inspect it, we'll see what we got there, but, uh, it's looking promising, but I have a lot more dirt to go through. And, uh, well, tanning, panning takes a while. <laughs> it's really long. But, uh, we'll check it out.